So boys and girls, God wanted to teach Peter that the good news of the gospel was for the Gentiles too. So God gave him a vision of the unclean animals and he told them, told Peter that he needed to kill and to eat them. That was really hard for Peter because from childhood he had been taught that it was wrong to eat those things. And so that is why God reminded Peter that he makes the rule. So if God says that something is clean, then it is clean. And to make sure that Peter got the message, God repeated the vision three times. You see, boys and girls, God wanted to teach Peter to preach the gospel to everyone, including the Gentiles, whom the Jews thought were unclean. So once Peter realized that God wanted the gospel to go to the Gentiles too, he proclaimed the gospel message that Jesus died and rose again to save us. He proclaimed that message to Cornelius and to his household. Now at first, Peter probably thought that the Gentiles would reject the message of the gospel. But you know what? God touched the hearts of the Gentiles and he poured out his Holy Spirit on him. Do you know what? Just as he had done upon the Jews. Remember we looked at at Pentecost? He did the same thing for the Gentiles. He was showing, God was showing, that he wanted to save people of all nations. And as a result, the Gentiles accepted and believed the message. The Apostle Paul writes in Romans, he says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, first for the Jew and also for the Gentile. Boys and girls, I hope that you can see from this true story in the Bible that the message about Jesus is for everyone and that everyone needs to hear it. We too often look at people and based on who they are, what they look like and how they compare to us, we often make a judgment on whether or not that person is in or out. And that is not right. This story in Acts tells us that absolutely no one is beyond the reach of the gospel. It is a person's response to the gospel that will determine, that will decide if they are in or not. Not our judgment of them. Will you thank God that the good news of Jesus is for everyone, including you?